We have team coverage tonight in the battle over how to reopen schools. Eight on your side's Christine McClarty is in Pinellas County, but first Jeff Patterson joins us live in Hillsborough County, where parents, teachers, and school board members are trying to figure out what to do. Jeff. Good evening, Jen. The plan to reopen schools has deeply divided parents and even teachers in this county, with many who feel that with the number of coronavirus cases up, it's just not safe to go back to school. What we've seen in the last four months is major disruption to the education system. Hillsborough County School Superintendent Addison Davis is asking school board members to delay the start of school from August 10th, as originally scheduled, to August 24th, saying the extra two weeks is needed for school administrators across the county to develop plans for social distancing and cleaning their schools. We're looking at face coverings, making sure that we have social distance within our educational sitting, setting, which is very difficult to do. But not everyone is happy about the reopening plan. Bringing kids back now and even adults seems pretty dangerous. Rob Crete is the head of the Hillsborough County Classroom Teachers Association and tells Aid on Your Side many teachers are afraid to come back to class. The one thing that we can't really answer is how are we going to socially distance our, our students? I mean, we can't keep them away from each other. We can't keep the teachers far enough away from all of the kids, even within a classroom. As he spoke and school board members met inside, teachers stood outside holding signs urging school board members not to reopen the schools. Teachers are still worried about class sizes. They're worried about proper sanitation. They're worried about um, having enough time to sanitize in between groups of students. Eight on your side has just learned that Hillsborough County parents now have until midnight Sunday, July 19th to announce whether or not their children will be returning to school or doing e-learning. School administrators need to plan on how many school students will be returning. Reporting live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, eight on your side. Thank you, Jeff. And the stress level among hospital staff in Pinellas County is at an all-time high because of coronavirus. Now some commissioners are concerned the reopening of traditional schools may be coming at a bad time. Eight on your side, Pinellas County reporter Christine McClarty has the latest. Today, Pinellas County's emergency medical director spoke up at the commission meeting, saying he doesn't know how much more our local hospitals can take. Your health care workers are exhausted. They've been at this for months. Uh, it is incredibly hard to care for patients with COVID, to strap on that mask and that gown and the eye protection and knowingly walk into that room day after day uh, is exhausting. Commissioner Ken Welch says he's concerned about the talk of schools reopening. He says with 100,000 students in the county, if half go back, that's still 50,000 students. As hospitals are already stressed. We should be concerned, is this the the spreader event that takes us over. Dr. Cho with the Florida Health Department says he stands by the school board's decision to implement traditional school, MyPS Online, and Pinellas Virtual School. It's a well thought out plan. I appreciate and applaud the efforts of our superintendent, Dr. Grego. But even he has concerns. He says while the school district has prepared by ordering thousands of masks and laptops, is that enough? There will be interruptions with classroom closures from a child care aspect, but also uh, from an educational experience uh, point of view. A teacher and nurse spoke up in the meeting concerned. Do we have the space in the hospital to handle the influx as what's about to happen when we open the schools? The Pinellas County School District says before figuring out what teachers are going to do, they have to figure out what students want to do. Families are asked to go online to pcsb.org forward slash reopening to choose if students will go to school in the classroom or online. Families must make a decision by July 27th. Reporting in the Pinellas County Bureau, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.